Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. You know what I'm saying? So today what I wanted to do was I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about having to treat this spiritual war like a game of chess. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't played chess, if you don't understand, understand, or overstand chess, it's definitely one of those games slash strategies that you should learn. I wouldn't even just call it a game because you learn so much from being able to comprehend and understand chess. So what brought me to this subject today was I was just kind of in a space just diving around because usually I go into like a light meditation before I get up and film something depending on if something was already weighing on me or not. But I was just thinking about like this war that's going on, this battle that's always going on. And it had me in a space to where I was like thinking about how um, a lot of my counterparts um, would love to say just leave it to the creator or to God. But I, I say that and I want to correlate that with chess because when you say leave it to God or to the creator or the universal manager to take care of it, it does to a certain degree but what i do is because i'm a warrior i could never win a game of chess by only playing defense that wouldn't happen because there would have to be moves in place to where you would have to put some kind of pressure or you would have to make some kind of advancement or attack move so when I think about chess and, and correlate that to the spiritual battle on an intellectual level, we can look at the animals and the lions, which everybody like to go to first. They do what they have to do to protect theirs. You know what I'm saying? It, there is no, uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave this up to the creator if one of these other lions come in here and start trying to take over all my other female lions and my cubs that I got running over here. You know what I'm saying? That lion that's in charge of that pride, that leader, is going to do what the fuck it's supposed to do. It's going to step in and it's going to take charge. And I've always been a warrior, but I, I sometimes I get to this crossroad where I, I hear that and I see it so much leave it leave it to god leave it to the creator leave it leave it leave it leave it leave it and and i'm not like a leave it kind of person i'm more strategic with it because life is like chess you have to make advanced moves you have to apply pressure you have to also set moves for your attack even if you just sit around on defense the whole time and just countering everything but there would be no way this shift would be happening if nobody was stepping in to that warrior position. So we have to understand and understand our positions as well when we're playing and calculating these moves out here. So the ones who don't like to put their feet down and take the steps, you leave that to the warriors. Let the warriors do their job, but don't try to preach the warriors to being submissive. That's the shit I don't like because we are all very intelligent and a lot of us made it this far being an intellectual, spiritual warriors because we wasn't being no pussies. There's a time where you have to stand and you have to make advanced moves. You have to put this other player's move, this other player's piece in, in like some kind of position so that way they have to move out your way so you can continue to do what you have to do. This is a battlefield. So I would never sit around and just leave everything for the creator because I'm down here for a purpose. If I wasn't down here for a purpose, then uh, what the fuck am I doing? Like, if it's just for me to leave everything to the creator, clearly I'm supposed to be doing something. That's why the fuck I'm here and I'm in this vessel right here. You know what I'm saying? When you start playing chess and you start understanding and you correlating that with life... You realize that you have pieces that you have to sacrifice. Sometimes you have to put your hands down or position yourself a different way so the opposition can hit you one time so you can come back with a counter that's going to be more powerful than that. 
But that's not the same thing as just throwing your hands up and then just saying, I'm leaving it for the creator whenever they decide or the universe whenever they decide to come back and do it. You know what I'm saying? It's all a strategic play. It's all a strategic play. You're not playing with a computer. You're playing with another opposition, you know, another human being or another entity that's using that vessel. It's, it's no different than when you play a game and have two different controllers. You know what I'm saying? That's the your friend is your opposition while y'all got different controllers playing the game. You know what I'm saying? So we have to keep this extremely strategic, extremely strategic. You have to be able to think more moves ahead than your opponent. You have to be able to have a move for a counter move and then have an advanced move for any other moves. You have to set up plays when you're playing chess. You have to set it up to where you can see, I know, but I'm going to say three to five moves ahead because that's about where I can process it. I'm working on building it past three to five moves ahead. But with those three to five moves, that's just if I wanted to stop or block a bishop or a pawn from on this side but i still also have three to five moves if i'm looking at it from a different angle as far as what what's going on with this rook and this knight over here you know what i'm saying so it's multiple it's multiple different angles you know what i'm saying uh, which you can take that approach from but understanding when to position your pieces you know what I'm saying? You cannot just sit on defense your entire life. You cannot just leave it to other people to do it. Now, if you are one of those beings who are not, who's not a warrior and you're here to do other things, don't tell people to leave it to the creator that's warriors that's moving in that light. What you do is you support them in their process. You know what I'm saying? Because you're standing behind them. Y'all all making that same battle, but you're standing behind them. So. Yeah, have to pee. You do. All right, so we're going to head over there in a little bit. All right, just give me a couple more minutes, and Daddy, let me finish stuff, all right? You want to say what's up to the people? Uh, uh, so I was out here, just got out of school, so ended up getting the big one real quick. But, yeah, just give me a couple minutes to finish this up, all right? And then I'll be right over there with you. Um, chess, you know what I'm saying? Always have to acknowledge and show that there. But when I'm out here... And I have to make strategic moves like my last video. I've been dealing with that situation, that counterpart, since 2014. So if I share a little bit of information, I've been extremely strategic through my process with dealing with them. So if I've been setting up plays, playing defense the whole time, and then I discussed when I decided to make an advanced move or an attack move, I'm discussing it because it's something that can be learned from, not just to put this shit out there, you know what I'm saying? So everything every play has to be directed with a goal you know what i'm saying every move has to be directed with a goal you don't get caught out here or playing on the board and not knowing what you're doing or how you're going to get this checkmate you know what i'm saying because as soon as you slack or miss a piece or think that oh they just gave you a free piece it's going to be a counter that happens over there so you may get a free piece of a like say you take one of their power pieces say you take you know a queen now he done took two pieces of yours and put you in check so you took one of their biggest pieces but that was a counterplay so it's all about being smart and, and analyzing the situations that you're being involved with and dealing in anytime i'm in a place where i feel like i'm about to judge somebody else's situation especially if i don't know them and if it's over like technology and shit i dive more into their content you know i tap more in and see if I can read their energy and their vibes to see what's going on. If it was just somebody may have just had some off energy one day when they was filming one day. You know what I'm saying? But if I constantly got that witchy energy from you five, six, ten, twenty videos down, me trying to tap in and figure out if I really want to vibe with you, then I got to put you over here. We got to constantly be strategic in this play. And you, you have to be ready to advance for the checkmate or to be able... To, to remove some of their pieces off the board. If you just sit the board up and you and this person playing, and you just say, well, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it up to the audience to play for me. You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna have to quit or forfeit because no pieces will be moved. We still have to operate in this world. So, some people get lost in not understanding the balance. They just think because, you know, they're not a fighter 
that they can just keep passing everything off to the fucking creator. You can do that, but understand there's other beings like me that's here that's fucking fighters and warriors, and we're standing in a place to where you keep saying we should probably just give everything over to them. That's what's been happening, and you see what's happening with this shift with the Matrix. You see what's been happening with this shift with the Matrix. So to me, I'm not in a position and knowing that it's a war going on and just put my hands in the air. That's not how I get down. It's a battlefield. So if my hands are in the air, it's because they're coming over with something bigger. I promise you. Like, we're not doing none of that over here. You know what I'm saying? None of that. We have to be strategic and play smart consistently. Consistently. If you get a play and they bounce a move off of you and they counter one of your pieces and they take about two of your pieces off the board, you have to make sure you got the next three, four moves lined up. So that way you can recover. Maybe your next five or ten plays is going to be stri st like strictly defense. If it's strictly defense, that's cool. But you also have to be ready for it when they make that slip or you're lining something up in the process to make that next step. You're never going to make no process out here in this witchy ass matrix if you're just throwing your hands up. That's not how it works. Trust me, this shit is getting worse out here. You keep throwing your hands up, they're going to put all kind of shit in you with you throwing your hands up. Because now you're free. You know what I'm saying? No, we're not doing that over here. We're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't want to run it up too long. Y'all tapping everything down below. You know what I'm saying? Peace to the kings and queens. Mm -hmm.